Welcome to day one and step one of your 21 day Mind Master Health Challenge. Here we go. This is going to be a life changing 21 days for you because you're going to be applying to your own life a revolution in brain science and health and fitness over the course of 21 days as you achieve the specific goal that you define and choose in your day one challenge later today. Let's start right now with step one. Step one of the 10 steps that you're going to be moving through over the course of the next 21 days to achieve your specific health, fitness, or weight loss goal. Step one is to make one small change to your persistent inner dialogue. Your persistent inner dialogue is a conversation that takes place inside your brain, inside your body, inside what I call your inner world. And it repeats, usually unconsciously, on autopilot over and over. And it has the effect of sabotaging your health or your fitness, your weight loss goals. And the way to make one small change to your persistent inner dialogue begins by identifying the one thought that sets off your persistent inner dialogue inside your head. And it turns out that the one thought is the reason that you and I are sitting here together right now. The one thought is something like, I'm not consistently living the healthy life that I want to live. I'm not consistently living the healthy life I want to live. That one thought repeats over and over for so many of us. You wake up to it, maybe you fall asleep to it, maybe you try to push it out of your mind, but it persists, it returns, because it is the expression of an instinct that we all share, an instinct that, that presses us to live as our best self, live the best life we can. So the one thought returns, it demands attention. And today, right now, you're going to pay attention to it. Listen to the one thought. I'm not consistently living the healthy life I want to live. And notice that it's not alone. It provokes subsequent thoughts. And those thoughts together make up what I call your persistent inner dialogue. It goes something like this. I'm not consistently living the healthy life I want to live. I need to make a change. I'll start by getting fit. I know I can do it. And then, invariably, some doubt will creep in. I've failed before, though. I guess, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure I can get fit and stay fit. I'm not sure I can consistently live the healthy life that I want to live. And that's it. That's the persistent inner dialogue. And it starts and it ends, you'll notice, with the same one thought. And that's what makes it a feedback loop that persists inside you, that lives in the cells of your brain and body as an old brain body habit that's going to repeat until you make one small change to it. So over the course of 21 days, you're going to be making changes to these patterns inside you that are sabotaging, that have the enormous power, understand, that they can really derail your goal, your capacity to achieve your goal. So we're going to begin right now by making one small change to your persistent inner dialogue. And I'm going to show you that making this one small change opens the door of your life to massive health, fitness, lifestyle changes. I've seen over and over with people who make this one small change that it's actually the first step to awakening yourself to a life of conscious choice about your fitness and your, and your weight loss and your health. So it's really important. Here's what I want you to do. Invite into your inner world, into your brain, into your body, your persistent inner dialogue. Say with me your one thought. I'm not consistently living the healthy life that I want to live. And then allow that persistent dialogue to unfold. I'm going to make a change. I'll start by getting fit and I know I can do it. And now allow that doubt to come in. Feel it as it comes into your body. Say, I've failed before though. I guess, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure that I can get fit and stay fit. I'm not sure that I can consistently live the healthy life that I want to live. And now I want you to make one small change. At the end of this persistent inner dialogue, every time it unfolds and you feel that doubt arise inside you over the course of the next 21 days, I want you to end it by saying, I am learning exactly how people who have gotten fit and stayed fit did it. And I'm following in their footsteps, step by step. That's it. 
That's the one small change. And making that one small change, it affirms your belief in your capacity for change. It affirms your intention to succeed in change. And every time you do that, as soon as you do it, your whole brain and body shifts. The cells inside you change. And when you do that consistently, you're breaking that old brain habit. You're breaking that persistent inner dialogue and you're replacing it with something that's going to help you succeed in mastering your specific goal. And the reason for that is because you're intentionally triggering what is commonly called the mind-body connection. Now, this part is massively important to understand and to ingest, and I mean really to come to, to embody and to live. This one idea. Recent brain science has completely changed the way that we think about the idea of the mind-body connection. It turns out that your mind and your body are not connected. Your mind and your body are not connected. A more accurate way to understand the idea of the mind-body connection comes when you realize that your mind and your body are the same thing. Your mind and your body are the same thing. That is the real secret. Now, let's just absorb that insight for a minute here together. Your mind is your body and your body is your mind. Changing your mind is changing your body and changing your body is changing your mind. So consistently living the healthy life you want to live begins the instant that you recognize that your mind and your body are the same thing. When you make one small change to your persistent inner dialogue like you did today, all the cells, your brain and your body, make an instant change as well. That's why knowing how to change your mind is knowing how to change your body. And that's why mastering your mind is mastering your body. In fact, mastering your mind is mastering your entire life. Over the course of the next 21 days, you're going to see that when you come to master your mind and you know how to change your body and you know how to at will, on demand, whenever you want to, embody that best version of yourself, that best self, and you know how to align it with your specific goal, then you also realize that you now know how to achieve anything that you want to achieve for your life. So, are you committed? For the next 21 days, any time any doubt arises in your inner world, any time you experience the persistent inner dialogue returning, you're committed to saying to yourself, I am learning exactly how people who have gotten fit and stayed fit did it. And I'm following in their footsteps step by step. Can you feel how your body changes? It feels hopeful. It expects change. The intention to succeed arises inside your body. I want you to notice how that different that is from the doubt that you experience during your persistent inner dialogue because I want you to be able to make that change yourself on demand. Can you feel that difference? Well then congratulations. You've completed step one. Make one small change to your persistent inner dialogue. Complete the remaining steps in your 21 day Mind Master Health Challenge and you will be consistently living the healthy life you want to live. I'll see you tomorrow.